Ooh, welcome guys to another video. It's Kyle Smith Place here. I'm gonna be telling you tips and tricks and everything you need to know about simoleons. Um, first of all, let's get right into it. The best way to collect simoleons. Now, obviously, and this sh every player should know, is that unless you're like a very low level player and a very low population, once you get a significant population, your number one source of income for simoleons is going to be your taxes. As you can see, I have a population of 297,247, and I get my daily income is 15,068 simoleons in 24 hours. So that's the most income that I can get. It's way more than I, I can get from upgrading residential zones. It's way more than I can get um, from the trade depot. So that is something that you're going to want to rely on. Now, you can't get your tax money or tax simoleons unless you have a population. You can't have a thriving population, meaning a population that's going to stay. Because your sims will abandon your homes if you don't keep them protected. And as you can see here, you have different services like police, health, sewage, water, power, waste management, fire, and... Let's just go to police. Let's try that as an example. You have a small police station. For me, it costs 9,100 simoleons. Now, I know there's some people that are going to say, what's the point of spending simoleons? Let me just save, 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 save. But when you're talking about the services, these are essential on spending them. Because you need to take care of your sims. Because if you take away that... As you can see here, I, it's all in a red zone. They get no coverage. They become unhappy. They start leaving their homes, and you know what? Once they leave their homes, you're not getting that tax money. So you have to spend money to make money. So even if you spend this 9,100 simoleons, the tax money that you're going to be generating is going to be worth it. Like you're going to earn that money back. You're going to earn those simoleons back really quick. So never underestimate... Uh, the power of spending simoleons because some stuff it is essential now I want to talk about other two strategies obviously the taxes it's something that you just got to wait and be patient you know you can't speed it up really you can boost your uh, you can uh, upgrade your city make it bigger but that's something you have to wait if you want to take action now and get more simoleons now I know you've probably heard this and this is a top tip from a lot of people I've heard talk about it in SimCity build it um, is the trade depot. Now, not every player is gonna have this, obviously, but it's this. Right now I'm playing offline, uh, so I'm not gonna show you that, but anyways, when you're online, you can put items from your storage, uh, and you can sell them. And my strategy for you guys is sell it at max profit. To get max profit, sell it at max price. Because you have these materials, if you manufacture these materials, and you sell them, and you advertise them, people are going to buy them. People are going to buy them. Because you see, um, on the global market, the demand is high. A lot of people from around the world will buy your stuff. So, uh, use the trade depot. Use it all the time. If you're looking for simoleons, produce raw materials, um... And then make better items with the shops, with your raw materials. And then you will get more simoleons by selling that. And now another strategy, guys, if you want to know um, about the, the trade depot. Uh, one thing you can do is if you visit mayor cities, you could do this on the global trade market. If you're just viewing someone's city, you can do this with your club members or wh whoever. Um, but when you visit someone's city, they're going to sometimes give you gifts. And now these gifts, of course, you can use to upgrade your city. But when you get those gifts, consider this option. You're getting something free. You're getting something that you didn't have to go through the time to manufacture. So sell that at max profit, and you'll earn a lot of simoleons. Because you'll see, be surprised. Just visit a lot of cities. You'll get those gifts, um, and then you can sell them for max price, which will earn you max profit. One thing that I 
typically would say, and this is a recommendation by a lot of people, is that avoid building residential zones for simoleons. Obviously, you need to build it if you want to upgrade your city, but and you can still earn simoleons, and after a while, it does become a lot that you have earned, but don't rely on it. As you can see here, I only get 1,368 simoleons. I could sell stuff on the trade depot for more than that. I get more than that from taxes. So again, uh, upgrading buildings should not be your reliability on how to get simoleons. However, I know for early players, it's sometimes worse that way. Um, one thing, guys, you also want to know is that if you want to save simoleons, if you want to get more simoleons, do not spend on the global trade HQ because it's very hard to build your city and save simoleons. So for high level players, it's probably easier to save simoleons because you're more relaxed on services. You already got a lot of services from playing the game so much and buying stuff, buying stuff. So you can relax a little bit. But I know that when you start the game, I know for low level players, this is a very challenge. This is very hard because... If you're a low-level player, it's hard because the services, it's hard to keep up. It's hard to save simoleons when you have to keep buying and buying and buying just to build your city from scratch. So I get that. But once you're in a comfortable position, once, once you're in a comfortable position, once you're able to save those simoleons, save them. Um, because they'll be really good in the long run. Uh... Also, there's some specializations that you can buy with simoleons. There's not really uh, much. Um, here, let me show you one, guys. Uh, let's go to the beach uh, specialization. Um, as you can see here, the surfer beach costs 20,000 simoleons. Now, I know this seems expensive maybe to some of you low-level players, but for high-level players and people with, uh, people with over a lot of simoleons, you're, this is going to be very good because as we guys know... Golden keys, as you guys know, golden keys, they're a little hard to get. Platinum keys, obviously very hard. Simoleons are easy, though, because you're going to get this as tax revenue. I feel like it's one of the easiest uh, currencies. Um, and I mean, looking at it, because, I mean, 20,000 simoleons, it's not that hard to get. So remember, you can also spend it uh, on specializations. But uh, before I go, guys... Um, just remember, uh, use your services. You have to upgrade those services. You have to do this stuff. Um, it's essential to the game. You know, you can't ignore it. I know sometimes I used to do this too. You can't neglect it. And I have proof. Do you want to know what happens? 5%. Frosty Fjord Zone. Here. I'll, I'll travel there. I'll show you guys. Because I did the same thing. I did the same thing. Uh, and I'll show you guys what happens if, if you neglect it. The services. You have all these abandoned buildings, right? Let's see. No heating. No sewerage. Look at this. No sewerage. No suing. No sewerage. Alright, they have no suing. Sewers. <laughs> they have no sewers. Anyways, though, as you can see, what it's done is it's 5% happiness uh, and only a population of 147. It was in the thousands when they were completely happy. But, because I neglected the services, now it's at 147, I have no population, I have no city, um, and unfortunately, I'm not getting tax money from that. So, don't underestimate the importance of buying services, um, yeah, but that'll be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, um, I appreciate your support, I appreciate if you subscribe, it's just a click of a button, it could make my day, um, I appreciate if you comment. Um, you know, I want to, I want to answer your questions, so if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, or just comment about the video in general, um, you know, it, um, I'll be doing more of these videos, um, I'll be covering events too, uh, tomorrow's Wednesday when SimCity Build It, uh, usually launches events, so I'll probably post a video then, or Thursday, um, but... Or, well, or yesterday. I have no idea when I posted this. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and I appreciate it. And uh, let's go earn those simoleons.